Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were in the hidden Beck base, and now we're going to head out because I realize if I explore any part of the hidden base a little too thoroughly, uh, the hidden Beck base, rather, uh, things will go wrong very fast, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to resist the urge to explore and uh, possibly screw up the game. Because that wouldn't be fun for anyone. Okay, so, uh, with this done, more or less. Whoops, okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, geez. If I hit that fast enough. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. I was always wondering how Wooly was able to do it. Now I understand. Okay. Um, <laughs> now that I know. Um, hmm. You know what? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> At all. Um, we're supposed to go to the Undercity. Which I have to get uh, Mission Veo to uh, join up with me down there, because she's currently there having a uh, fun little time. Oh! I didn't know there was more of them. Okay. That's news to me. Why am I not hitting a damn thing? I keep missing. It's starting to piss me off now. Okay. Well, I just noticed that someone... It's over to our left there. We're gonna die. Go. We're gonna die horribly, is what I just figured out. Okay. Okay, well, I got that. I got some damage. I'm getting some damage, which is better than no damage. Alright. As long as I can continue to make damage happen, we can continue to live. Maybe. Wow, my luck in hitting this episode is so much better than it was last episode. It's holy shit. I should have been dead. <laughs> yes, what's on your mind? Oh, I just, I didn't want to talk yet. Key phrase being yet. I wanted to get remains from their stuff. But, nah, nothing too special. At least not yet. Alright, um... That's the Black Volker base, right? Should be. So, where I'm supposed to go is over that way to go down to the Undercity. But now I need to fucking go back to the hideout because I am hurting a lot now because of that fight. While it did go well, better than I expected, that does not mean... <laughs> does not mean I did not want to get health. Because I still needed health. If I intend on completing this game without using too many med packs. That said, there will be a certain point where med packs are no longer usable because I will have had advanced to the advanced med packs that will give me more health overall and thus be more useful to me than normal med packs. <sighs> Karth, we are right there. We're right there. Okay. Alright. Okay, you're going to be more accusatory towards the black man. Okay. It's starting to get a little weird. It's starting to get a little racist there. Karth, but alright. Be fair, I could have picked any race. So, it would be less racist if I had picked a white person like myself. But considering Revan is not me, I decided I'd make him a black man. Anywho, besides the point. Uh, turn the mic around <laughs> so it's facing me a little better. And let's speak to Carl. Yes, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? Well, you want to argue some more, is that it? 
Sure, why not? I mean, I just know, want to know why you distrust me so much. What does it matter that much, Shell? Why can't you just leave it be? Because? I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons. Which are my own. But we have to work together, Karth, so it has plenty to do with me. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? No, you won't. You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five yeah. years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Okay. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud of Sir It was Fair. completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think. Least of all me. Our okay. heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we that would do it. Helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? That is fair. That is absolutely fair. I mean, that must have been hard to take. No, it wasn't even that. That there were others. Good, solid men. Trusted men who turned on us as well and joined the cause. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The okay. dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. You say that with such hatred? I know. I know. And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. Damn right it's I haven't! No, never mind. Let's just continue with... No, not doing. never mind. Damn it, boy, you are going to tell me. <sighs> Fine. All right. Let's go. Blaster turrets. Hold on there, civilian. Hi there. Those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Uh-huh. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Or... You can't keep me out if you're dead. No, I'm just I got my security papers right Let here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Damn okay, right they are. Go down if you want. Can't I got them from the finest fortune. I mean, I got them from Rackle, Sith Command. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Okay. Shoot first, ask questions later. That is... <laughs> that is okay, I guess. All right. It comes to mutants, which Rackles are, so. All right. You there, upworlder. Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Huh? Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. Huh? Leave this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us now. <laughs> exactly. Credits. That's what it costs. Five credits. To use our elevator. Five credits. Um, this is, this is a public elevator. I'm not paying any toll. Oh, oh, that'd be, that'd be really rude. Ooh, let's not choose that one. Uh, who are you? What are you doing down here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here okay. In filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. Uh -huh. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Uh-huh. You poor wretches, here's 20 credits to buy some food and clothing. Uh... <laughs> you know what? It'd be nice. Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. Uh -huh. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. That's I'm fair. sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. Yeah, a little. Alright, who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. I uh -huh. was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Uh, it's nothing special. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I mean, I've I guess that's been to the probably surface, but fair. Sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... 
So wonderful. Gendo, okay. You're having more time trying to improve things down here. You're having delusions in that regard. That it's not that great. Right. You probably think I'm a fool. Having dreams of a place I've never even seen. Well, I mean, when I was little. Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil? Who's that? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind Yeah, because kids are cruel like that, yeah. the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still right. like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but mm -hmm. it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. All right. That's fair. Uh, what's the Promised Land, I it's, wonder? It's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes hmm. I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make hmm. the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to do that, then. Uh, where can I find him? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. That's people impressive. People laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, where can I find Gendar? He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. Alright. Sounds good. Uh, do you know anything about the escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is no, there anything fine. else you need? Uh, have any other upworlders come through recently? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Hmm. Gendar might know more about them. Alright, fair enough. I'll talk to him when I get to him. Alright, oh, sounds good. okay. Well, if you ever you need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. Uh -huh. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. That's fair. That's fair. Ooh, I got light side points for giving up all those credits. The people who were shaking me down for them, originally. If it wasn't for the fact I'm trying to be a nice guy. Nice guy playthrough. Oh, there's Gendar. Greetings, upworlder. I rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No, friends, really. But I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have come you come on, man? Dark and sunless place. Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. I mean, yeah, a little. There's a couple things I need. Um, why do you live here in the Undercity? Who are we you? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. Oh, criminals. We banded okay. together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. That's I am fair. Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations. Our ancestors I cast see. down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants. But somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. That is surprising, honestly. And, um, well, I mean, considering uh, how long you guys have been down here, that is an impressive feat to have done, quite frankly. What a horrible way to live. Life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless. Especially those newly cast down. Oh, I but bet. life goes on, and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rukil. Uh, tell me about the Rat Ghouls. The Rat Ghouls are monsters. Hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Mm -hmm. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. Oh. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. That's fair, because this sounds like a version of lycanthropy, or zombie, you know, ism a little bit. So, I guess it makes sense. But jeez, that's shitty that you guys have to live like that. Ask your questions, Upworlder. Gonna ask some more questions. To the best of my knowledge, though, I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. I'm sure. Uh, 
Looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Fail. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. Okay. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. Oh, so they're just playing around in the sewers? That's weird. And gross. Ugh. Why would you want to play in a sewer? That's whatever. Uh, how can I get to them? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. I have One to go in the there. Of our village, oh. The other to the southeast. But the uh. sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you yeah, because they're gross. Tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal heavily for the armed. and the other foul creatures. What? We got fucking... Well, I mean, the rat ghouls, yeah, but crocodiles and shit? What? Ask your questions, Upworlder. That's, I don't know. Um, you said something about other Upworlders who came by recently? Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored mm -hmm. troops, swoop gang members, uh, Okay. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Really? Huh. Let's I'll ask, ask you, you some more questions. Because I think there's a couple more. Uh, no, there isn't. All of them I've already asked. So, As I'll you be wish going. You older, should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. Sounds good to me. And I noticed Rukil, the other guy that was talked about over here. You, you come from the world above. Yes. Is this the time of destiny, then? What? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Huh? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path. Are you the Possibly? Uh. The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Whoa, 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 whoa. Or merely whoa. another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? I don't even know what this you're talking about. crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak Maybe. Me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation. Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. I haven't even chosen what the fuck I want to do on the planet, much less what I'm going to do with you. Calm down a little. Yeesh, what are you talking about, old man? Good question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Yeah, after the Even bullshit after you were just talking years about? Of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I'd be surprised if you didn't. Clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil. The oldest outcast here in the village. Okay. Rukul Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Because you're old. <laughs> really old. Really, really, really old. <laughs> I'm Farron Khan. What do you want from me, Rukil? Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Uh-huh. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. Oh. Oh, no. Well, that sucks. Uh, the true path? What does that mean? No. No, no, not yet. I must what? be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets I with you? I don't even no. know what you're not talking about, you old man. Yourself. I have to prove myself for you to tell me shit? Okay. Fucking fine. How do I prove myself? My apprentice is lost. Okay. We've already discussed this. I sent to the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not okay, yet. classified information thing. My apprentice things. has okay, not returned. Enough. Please, All right. Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will okay. you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? All right. Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she... Okay. I can do that. I can help you with this, Rukil. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. All right. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Okay. Only then can Calm I reveal down. my secret knowledge to you. Okay, dial it back. Dial it back. Just a little bit. I ain't gonna be no one's savior. I'm just helping you. Okay. I'll be back if I find anything out. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Alright, will do. Journal entry. Okay, so I guess I need to find the apprentice. 
Outcast man, another outcast man. Uh, who is hey, this guy? You ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. Okay. There's something slimy about this guy. Yeah, a little. Trust him Not just his voice. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to yeah, buy I can something tell. from my store? I got some good deals. You got some good deals, huh? How do you manage to run a store down here? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. Okay. They exchange sure. food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Fair enough. So you're just looking for money. Even though money really doesn't have that much intrinsic value down here. Alright. I guess. Sure. Uh, I want to ask you questions first. Oh, you better ask Gendar. He's the spokesman for the village. I just run the store. I don't want to make him mad by answering any questions. Gendar already doesn't like me. Okay, why doesn't he like you? Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so it should be share and share alike. But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the upworlders. Why should they get anything? Because they're bringing you the salvage to trade with the upworlders. You're paying them for helping you, you stupid asshole. That's a selfish attitude. Hey, you don't know what it's like down here. I, I have, have a vague idea. Scrape to survive. Nobody else will look out for me. But Gendar doesn't agree with my philosophy. He caught me hoarding supplies a while back. I figured I'd wait until food was scarce and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. You'd Gendar be shitty as a person. Board. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. Yeah, he, he shouldn't. Keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. You're an asshole, dude. If it wasn't for the fact that you're just the store guy. I'm pretty sure Gendar could run the store himself, too. So, I mean, he's letting you have a thing to do to help. Quite frankly, he doesn't need you, buddy. Okay, let me see what you got. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such. It's still stump the price something, is right. I, I suppose. Probably. Ooh. You got a Chani battle armor? What the fuck? Why? Why do you have that? That is super high level stuff. What? <laughs> what? Alright, I guess. And you got Bazak cards, which I don't care about. Okay. That's a thing, I guess. I don't need this. I absolutely don't need that. Um, combat suits. I could sell one. Uh, adrenaline amplifier. I guess I could save that for things. Do I really need the adrenal? No, not really. Mm. Sell one of those. I got a scope at least. Um, I kind of really want that, but not enough. I'm just going to blow all my credits on it. Especially when I think I get something like that later. I think... But the RNG in this game really makes me think I might not. So I want to. I want to, but I don't at the same time. Especially because later on I'll be better served uh, holding off. 
So, I think I'm going to hold off. I think for now I'm going to hold off. I'm just going to collect my credits that I can. And Hurry, go Hendar. on. Hurry, I can hear it coming. He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He what will make is the it. problem? Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Okay! Hendar will die if he doesn't! You just... can't open the gate! Uh, okay! Not while the Rackles are so near! I'll deal with the Rackles then! I will kill them! You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> yeah! You're brave, Upworlder. Damn right I am. Gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a I few will be. Seconds, I just must close get him in here. Again. Get him in here. I will deal the rest. You move, bud. Jeez. Okay. All right, we're getting somewhere. Oh, I got poisoned. That's not good. Woo! Away. Okay. And our thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. You're welcome. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Aww. That's fine. I'll be fine. Although I'm poisoned, so it's slowly going to death. Thank you for saving Hendar. You're welcome. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Okay. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Me particular, uh, who are you? I'm Trewin from the Outcast Trewin. Village. It's okay. my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the Rat Ghouls. Well, you were doing a decent job of that before, I mean... Albeit scared to death that you were going to let the Rakul in if you let the other guy through. But, I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen worse jobs. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. I just guard the gates. Gendar is the leader of the village, Upworlder. You should speak to him if you have any questions. All right. Fair Goodbye, enough. Upworlder. Goodbye. Uh, you know what? There might be a couple things that I need to do in the village still. Oh boy. I was about to burp there. I apologize. I'm just going to wander around a bit because I have a feeling I might have a couple things I need to do. Oh, there's a gate over here as well. Outcast healer, huh? Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. Okay. For your own sake, turn back. Um, what are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rutgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. Okay. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rutgores, we'll let them destroy each other. This is a third option when it comes to the Rat Ghoul Serum. This is the more immediate option that helps these people immediately should I find it. But giving it to the other guy on the upper city would allow it to be mass-produced and given to everyone. That seems like the better option overall, honestly. Uh, there must be something someone can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the Ratgall disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into Ratgalls and attack them at any moment. So you'll just leave the infected ones to die? You're a coward. I can't help the infected ones. They have to die so that the rest of the village can live. I accept this. 
If you think that makes me a coward, so be it. I don't even have the serum on me. There's no way I could help them anyway. Uh, Farewell. I'll just, I'll just go away for now. Infected outcasts. Several of the outcasts have been infected with the Rakul disease. They have been placed in quarantine away from the others so that when they transform into Rakuls, they won't ravage the rest of the village. I'm assuming that was put into my quest... Uh, or rather, my active quests so that I have the third option there. And I have to find Rukil's apprentice. All right. Well, now I have my quest layout for while I'm down here. And I will have to head outside the village to be able to do anything regarding those quests. But for now, we are a little over time as it stands for the episode. So I'm going to end it here for right now. And we'll pick it up and get into those quest completions in the next episode thank you all so much for watching click this thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video and share in comments we can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together and i will see y'all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and trying to help out other people as best we can now that we uh well, we have an idea of who to help for you.